hello everyone welcome to another video i hope you enjoy and find this tutorial easy for you to make and i appreciate you a lot for joining me let's get started so this is the pearl beaded bike design we are going to make today i have in front of me eight millimeter pearl bead so look for your choice of color in 8mm and let's start beading. I'm going to use 50 pound fishing line. And we are going to use a cutter. Today I'm using scissors, anything that will cut your line, okay? Let's get started. We are going to start with 5 bead. This 5 bead. So I'm going to put all this 5 bead on the line. So this is the 5 bead we are going to start with. I put all five bead on the line and I'm going to hold the other end of my line and cross the last bead and pull like this. Now on each line, on each line I put two two on the line, okay? Then I'm going to cross both ends of my line into this one. Cross and I'm going to pull it down like this so this is what we have and now on each side of my line again I'm going to pull two two on my line and I'm going to cross with this one and pull like this and pull so as you can see we start with five and the rest two rings are six six in the ring now we are going to make one more six so i put two two bead on each line then i'm going to cross both ends of my line into the fifth bead and pull then i'm going to continue to make six six of the rings okay this one one two three i'm going to continue to make six so i complete with my six then we start with five with five then one two three four five six now we are going to end this row with five bead so this is how you pick the bead and i'm going to hold the last one and cross it with my other line and pull and now we turn to the side and continue our second row so now we start with five one two three four five six then we end with five again that's how we are going to start okay your first row should be like this now let's continue so on the second row this line I add five bead to my line I'm going to cross and pull now I'm going to go into two bead one two this two bead I pull my line through this two bead and the number of bead I'm adding three bead Add three bead I'm going to go into the next bead these two bead okay I'm going to go to the next two bead and I add three bead to my line that'll be my left line into the next two bead three B to your left line cross and pull into the next two three bead into the next two bead three bead To the next two now we are coming to the end of this row i'm going to my next two i add three bead i'm going to go through the next two that's the last two we have on this row i add three bead to my line now this one i'm going to pull my line through the last bead at the edge over here 
and on my right line the same line I used to go through the bead I add three bead and this line one bead then I'm going to cross hold the last one of the three I'm going to cross my left line into that one and pull that way my line turn on the side again then we are going to start the tail row I add five bead to my line and I'm going to cross and pull now over here too we are going to go through two two bead and add three to it so into the two next two bead this one is the first second then I add three bead to my line into the next two bead three bead so here this is our first and second row and we are going to repeat the same thing over here we did for the second row okay we are going to go through two bead and add three bead to it so into the next two three bead into the next two bead three bead so this is all we are going to repeat continue up to the end go to two two at three two bead at three two you add three bead to it now I'm in the last two bead over here I add three bead to my line and I'm going to go through this one put my line through this last bead at the end and now be adding three bead on my right side and one on the left going to hold the last one of the three and cross my right line into it and pull that way my length turn on the side then we start the fourth row now we are going to start again on this line I'm adding five bead to my line and this will be the fourth row that we are starting I'm going to pull my line through two bead again this and this one into the two bead then I add three bead like this so we are going to continue go to two and add three three bead to your line and cross it to the end so continue to make yours and I also continue to make mine so I go through two bead and add three to it And now I'm in my last two bead. I'm going to my last two bead. I add three bead. Now I'm going to go through the last bead over here. This bead on the edge. This one right here. So I pull my line through and I'll be adding three bead to this line and one on this one like this and we are going to cross and turn our line on the side to start a new roll again I'm going to flip over to my side again so now we are starting the fifth row so on my left line I add five bead to it I add five bead to my line cross and pull now we are going to continue going through our two two bead and add three to it this two bead i'm going to pull my line through three bead into the next two i add three bead to my line Now we are going to go through two two and add three bead to our line. We are going to complete this row, and now I'm in my last two bead. This two bead, going to go through the next two, 
and I'll be adding three bead. I'm going to go to my last bead again. Then I'll be adding three bead on one side and one on the right side. I'm going to cross and pull. Like this, pull. That way our length turn on the side so we can start our, our sixth row. So again, I add five feet to my left line. I'm going to cross and pull. And over here too, we are going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to go into the next two bead. And I'll be adding three bead to my line. I go to the next two, I add three bead. Into the next two bead, three bead. So we are going to repeat the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the sixth one. We are going to complete the sixth row. Do we complete? 10 and do seven and eight. We turn again and do eight. So we are going to do eight rows in all. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to complete the six, do seven and eight. Then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so seven, eight. That's what we are going to do. Eight in all. Now I'm back. Here is my line. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm about to complete the eighth row. I'm on the eighth row, I'm about to complete. So my line is in the last two bead. So now I'm in the last two bead over here. I add three bead to my line. And I'm going to enter the last bead. I'm going to put my line through the last bead. And I add three bead and one on the line. I add three to my right line and one on my left line. I cross and pull. That way my length turn again on the side for me to start another row. This is how it's looking like. So when you count all the rows, it's eight. Now we are going to start the ninth row. So here, over here, it's going to change a little bit of the counts. So this line, this is where my line is, okay? In the corner over here, we are going to change the count of bead. This line, I add four bead. Like this. Now, I'm going to go into the next two bead and add three bead. Cross and pull. Now into the next two bead. I add three bead to my line. I'm going to go into the next two and add three bead. We are going to go into the next two bead. So I add three bead to my line. To the next two bead three bead i'm going to go through all this bead two two bead and add three three to my line So now I'm in my last bead. I add three bead to my line. Like this. So now you see we have five and five on the corner. So we are going to turn again and start a new row. I'm going to pull my right line into the next bead. Then I'll add four bead to my left line. Like this. And I'm going to cross with my right line and pull. Now we have to start the 2-2 two, two again. We are going to go into the 2 bead. 
pull my line through two bead and add three bead to my left line. Three bead. I'm going to go into the next two and add three bead to my line. Into the next two bead. Then I'll add three bead again. I'm going to go into the next two bead. And now add three bead. Cross and pull. So as you can see, we are going to go into two two and add three bead. Go to two and add three. Like how we are doing it now. I'm in my last two bead. These two bead, okay? I'm going to pull my line through the next two. Three bead. Now we are going to turn again. I'm going to flip it over to my side. And I'm going to enter the next bead. I'm going to pull my line into the next bead. And I'll add four bead to start a new row. Into the next two bead, I add three bead to my line. We are going to continue to repeat the same way we are we are weaving until we complete this row again. I'm going to go into the next two bead and now be adding two bead. I'm going to continue to do the same way and you also continue to do yours. Now I come into my last two bead. I'm going to enter the next two bead, okay? Then I'll add three bead. This line, three bead. And now I'm going to enter the next bead. I'm going to pull my line through the next bead again. Then I'll start my row with four bead. Now I'm going to start the two, two and add three into the next two bead. And I'll add three bead to my line. So let's take a look at what we have here. This is the shape we have so far. This is one, two, three, four. And we are going to continue to make eight. We make eight over here. We are going to continue to make another eight at the end. Okay, we are going to repeat the same row on this side to one, two, three, four. This one. We are going to leave it. We are going to leave it. We are not going to count it. We are going to count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So you have to make eight. The middle, you are not going to count. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Over here. Leave this one. Leave this roll alone and continue your eight. Continue to make yours and I'll meet you back here. Okay. Now I made seven rolls. And now I'm going to start my last row, which is the eighth row. And I want to show you the number of count we are going to use to start the eighth row. I'm going to add three bead to my line. We are going to start this eighth row with three bead. Okay. I'm going to cross and pull. So now I'm going to go into the next two bead. Next two bead and add three bead to your line. We are going to continue to repeat the same way we are. We start with five. Did you see five and five on the corners? Three bead. I'm going to go into the next two and add three bead. We are going to repeat the same to the end. The next two bead, three bead. So now I'm about to complete this row. I'm adding three bead to my line into 
the next two beads this is the last two I'm going to pull my line through and now be adding two bead so here I complete with two bead like this I'm going to tie and weave the rest of my line into the bead before I trim it off so far here I'm just weaving my line into the bead and trim trimming so now this is what we have okay this is the shape we have very beautiful design very beautiful weave this is what we have and we are going to start this two bead this two this and this I'm going to pull my line through we are going to weave on the edge of this shape so I'm going to start with four bead I pull my line through the two bead then we are starting with four bead now we are going to go into two bead and add three bead into the next two I add three bead to my line we are going to go into the next two bead this line three bead cross and pull into the next two three bead I'm going to pull my line through the next two bead again and add three bead so this is what we are going to repeat on the edge round the shape okay Go to the next two. So this is how it's looking like. This is how it's looking like. So this is what we'll be repeating around this shape. We are going to go round, go to two and add three bead. You go round the shape and complete it. And this is how it's looking like so we are going to go around and copy do yours and I'll meet you back so if you complete yours this is something you should have okay this is how it's looking like very round in shape now we are going to go halfway on the shape I'm going to pull my line through this two bead so I pull my line through this two bead and I'm going to start with four bead so I add four bead on my left line cross and pull and we are going to go halfway of this shape okay up to here we are going to start from here and end here this is where we are going to end so that's what we are going to do next we go to two and add the three i'm going to go to two and add three bead so we are going to continue using the same technique that we use and repeat the same thing throughout the entire week. I'm going to two and I'm adding three bead to my line. Into the next two. I add three bead to my line. Go to two and add three bead. Go to two bead, add three bead. So this is what we have. We are going to continue round and end halfway. We are going to start from here. We are going to end over here so if you end this is how it's going to look like and we have to make two okay so we have to make two of this and we are going to put it together and this is where we start halfway okay we did halfway you have to repeat the same thing 
what we did for the second one too. And now let me show you how we are going to put these two pieces together. We are going to join them together. So lay them equally on the side. Make sure you have both ends together. Then I'm going to, we are going to ignore the first bead and go through the second bead. The second and the third bead. Like this. Now I'm going to add one bead on my line. Like this. This is the bead I add on my line. I'm going to go through, I'm going to ignore this and go to the second and third bead. So this is second and the third bead. I'm going to take one bead, cross both ends of my line into it and pull down like this. Pull. Then again, I'm going to go through two bead and two bead on the top piece. So I'm pulling my line through the down piece into two bead and also the top bead, I'm going to go through two bead on the top piece like this then I'll take one bead and cross both ends of my line into it and pull you cross and pull now I'm going to go through two bead on the top I'm going to hold my other line go through two bead on the down piece now take one bead and crossing both ends of my line and pull into two on top piece now I'm going to go through two bead on a down piece and I'll take one bead and cross both ends of my line and pull into the next two bead on top piece and now I'm going to the down piece again and I'll take one bead and cross both ends of my line into it and pull. So this is what we are going to repeat on this step. We are going to repeat this, go through two bead and add one bead, cross both ends of our line into one and pull. This is what we are going to repeat on this step. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notifications for any new video that I'll be uploading so you don't miss on any. Thank you. I thank you guys for always your love and support. Thank you so much. So this is how the side is looking like. If we put the two pieces together, we are going to continue. So we are going to continue with the same technique round until we complete. Now I'm about to complete mine. I'm now going through the last two beads on my bag. Going through these two beads. And now I'm adding one bead, cross both ends of my line and pull. So right here, I'm just going to tie and then weave the rest of my line into the bead. Make sure it's well secured enough before I trim it off. So I'm just tying my line over here. And what I'm going to do next, I'll just weave it back into the bead. So weave it back, make sure it's well secured, then trim it off. This is how it's looking like so far. Very pretty already. It looks very beautiful. So now, I'm just going to trim the rest of my line. So let me show you something. I'm pulling my line through two beads over here, okay? These two and this one. Now my line is in three bead. So if you fill your bag, you want to fill the side, maybe one step up, this is what you do. This is totally optional, okay? How to close it further. If you want to close it one step up, this is what you do. So I add three bead to my line. Okay, like this. I'm going to put my line through this two and this one. So that's three bead. So this is one. This is two. Second bead. Third bead. 
going to add to B to my line. This is totally optional. If you want to raise your side up to close it one step up, this is what you do to close it. Now I'm going to go through this bit, this and the third one. So I'm going to go through this one into two over here and the third one this one i'm going to add two bead cross both ends of my line and pull this is totally optional if you make the bag you like the size how it fit you don't have to do this step but if you want to close it one step up this is what you do that's what i'm showing it okay so i'm just tying my line and then with the rest of my line back into the bead and then trim it off just weaving my line make sure it's strong enough this is how it's looking like and we do the same thing on the other side if that is your choice you want to do okay this is how it's looking like now we have to pull handle on it I make these two handles this is a round handle that I made we are going to put on it so I have a video on how to make this round shape beaded bag on my channel so if you want to learn it please watch that video so you learn how to make it so we are going to put handle on our bag and I'm going to use one two three this six middle bead over here this six bead. that's what we are going to attach our handle on so I'm going to put my line through one bead over here. Put my line through one. This is our handle. I'm going to put on it to measure if it lands in the middle. You have to measure it first. Now I'm adding one bead to my line. Then I'm going to go through a bead on the handle. I'm going to go through one bead on the handle. like this okay this is how it's looking like now I'm taking one bead cross my line and pull I'm going to go through the next bead this line into the next bead I'm going to hold the other line and go through a bead on the handle then I'll take one bead and cross my line and pull into the next bead and on the bead a bead on the handle and I'm going to take one bead cross both ends and pull into the next into the next bead on the handle take one bead cross both ends of your line and pull and I'm going to go to the last one and on the handle too I'm going to cross my line into this one bead and pull this is how we attach the handle on the bag so with this I'm going to tie then with the rest of the line into the bead make sure it's well secured before I trim it off I'm just tying my line over here and then I'm going to weave the rest of the line back into the bead if you tie the line, don't trim it right away. You have to weave it a little further into the bag. That's where you know the line is secured before you, you trim it off. So this is what we have to do to put the handle. And here, we have to put the second one. We have to measure the middle over here and then put the second handle on it. And if you do, this is how it looks like. Very, very beautiful. Look at the beauty of this bag. So you can decide to put zip across it or you make a belt across and put a hook on it okay to hold it either with your button or your hook whatever you want to you choose to put over there so that is what we are going to make today you can put zip or make a hook on it look at how pretty it looks like very pretty six-sided beaded bag very very beautiful so I'm going to continue to make a little belt over here I'm going to go through two bead one two 
this is the 2B. I'm going to add 3B to my line. So this is how it's looking like, okay? I'm adding 3B to my line. I'm going to cross and pull. Then I'm going to pull my line again through 2B. This is the first and the second one. And I'm going to add 2B to my line. Into the next 2 bead, I add 2 bead to my left line. Now this line, I add 3 bead. I add 2 bead, I go to the next bead, I'm adding 2 bead to my line. This is a little belt we are going to create over here to cross over and then put our button on it. So let's continue to weave and create our belt. I'm going to the next bead and I add two bead to my line. Into the next bead, two bead. I'm starting with three bead. I'm going to come to the next bead. And now add two B to my line. Into the next two B. This is what you are going to create. You make it as long as you want, where you want it to be on the other side. That's how you create it. And if you done, this is the belt that we are creating, okay? And I'm done with mine. And I put a little button in the front like this. And this is how it looks like. I just put a loop on the belt and hook it on the button. This is just a regular button that I use to hook on the bag. Very, very beautiful. This is how our bag is looking like. Very beautiful. Thank you for watching. I thank you for your time. And I'll see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notifications for any new video that I'll be uploading. Thank you for your time and I will see you again. Bye.